If your pattern calls for short rows, it wants you to add some shaping, maybe heels of a sock or um, shaping on a sweater. Hi, welcome to Sherry Knits. I love knitting and I want you to love it too. I'm going to show you my favorite short row technique, which is wrap and turn. And today we're gonna look at it on the purl side. Let's get started. Let's take a look at how to do a wrap and turn purl wise on a purl row. Wrap and turn is a short row technique and short rows are just what they say. It's a row where you work across and you don't go all the way to the end. You cut that row a little short and you turn and work back. And this is a common shaping technique for heels of a sock. Sometimes you'll use it in sweater shaping. Anytime you need a slightly different angle or a wedge, triangle, some, some sort of different shaping in your knitting. And so you can see here, I've already started creating some of the short rows some of the wrap and turns to create my short row. And what I'm going to do is work across. I'm going to work to four stitches before the last wrap and turn, and I'll show you how to create it on a purl row. So go ahead and, and purl to where that wrap and turn needs to be. see here it is I want to go to four stitches before one two three four so I need to work four stitches two three four and now what we're going to do is slip the stitch from the left needle to the right needle just straight across and since we're purling our yarn is in the front we want to move it to the back in between the needles slip the stitch back to the left needle just straight across and then bring the needle to the back to this side and then turn and then knit to the end now if you are creating your wrap and turns and you have a hard time finding them sometimes slippery fabrics or certain color combinations it's harder to see the wraps you can use a locking stitch marker and either put it on the stitch or right on the wrap to help you recognize where those where those wraps are all right and we'll do this a couple more times and then I'll show you how to pick up those wraps as you're working across so if you were just to Curl to that point. So here is our wrap stitch. It's a little harder to see when you're purling because it looks like a purl bump. But if you spread your work apart, there's always this gap, this space right in front of the wrap. And so you can look for that and then just look for that extra wrap above the purl stitch. So here was the last wrap stitch. One, two, three, four. Oh, so I need to knit five stitches to get to it. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so here's why I want to do the wrap. Slip the stitch, move the yarn to the back, slip the stitch back, move the yarn to the front. And this would be the point if you wanted to you could put on that marker if it makes it easier for you. And now I'm just going to knit to the end. I'll do one more and then we'll look at how to pick up those wraps. There we go. Slip, move, slip, move the yarn. That's how I think of it. Slip the stitch, move the yarn, slip the stitch, move the yarn, and then turn. All right, now let's pick up those wraps as we work across. So we'll purl to the first wrap, and then we want to pick up the wrap 
in the back, not the front, but we wanna start in the back, pick it up from back to front, enter the stitches of to purl, wrap the yarn, and then you're gonna back it out and you'll back it through the stitch and the back of the wrap and pull it off. And so the wrap just will, will drape right there and that's how it looks in the front. So let's do another one. So pick up the wrap, go to through the stitch as if to purl, and then back through the stitch and under the wrap and continue working across. If you were to purl across and just turn without doing these wraps, you would create a hole where you turned your work. So wrap and turns are a really cool technique. My favorite way to work short rows. Pick up the wrap from back to front, enter the stitch as if to purl, wrap the yarn, back it through. And you would just continue working across. But let's take a look at what it looks like. On the back, you just have this extra little, um, like an, you know, purl two together, like you'd have an extra strand of yarn. And on the front, it looks nice and smooth and there's no holes. Give it a try. Wrap and turns are awesome. You're the boss of your knitting. I know you can do this. I'll see you next time. Let me know what you think about that. Leave a comment below. And check out my patterns on Ravelry. The link is below for that. I've been designing a lot of new things while we're traveling. And you can click on that link and check out all of my designs.